so why do street meters are available here in India and not uh, in Europe or uh, United States or America? Well, actually, you know, the, the, there's a sort of historic reason for this. Uh, what had happened is in the early 1990s, President George Bush had placed a ban on the federal funding of embryonic stem cell research. Uh, the reason was that, um, uh, as you're aware, the Roman Catholic Church believes that life starts from the moment of conception. So uh, they felt that if you use an embryon embryonic stem cell, you're killing somebody. Mm -hmm. right? uh, so uh, George Bush actually placed it had nothing to do with science. It had to do with religion mm -hmm. and politics. Uh, now, most people remember the ban. What a lot of people don't know is when President Obama became president, uh, sort of among one of the first few things that he did was he lifted that ban. Mm -hmm. That ban was lifted. However, unfortunately, people remember the ban on embryonic stem cells. Now, there are two, three things about it. The ban was on embryonic stem cells, not adult stem cells, mm -hmm. not umbilical cord, embryonic stem cells. And it was not a ban. It was a ban on federal funding, government mm -hmm. funding. It did not say private people could not fund. And even then in America, some states like California defied this and they continued to do state funding. But unfortunately, it all came under the same cloud. And I sometimes compare it to, you know, alcohol, coke, and orange juice. For example, uh, you know, I think embryonic stem cells are like alcohol. They are potentially dangerous, so they should be regulated. I'm a strong believer that, you know, when you're playing with embryonic stem cells, you don't know what will happen. Uh, umbilical cord stem cells are like Coke and Pepsi. They are not dangerous, but if the quality is not good, they could be harmful. So I believe there should be some regulation to monitor its quality. However, adult stem cells is like homemade orange juice. You don't regulate homemade orange juice, but what is happening? But suppose you say that alcohol, coke and orange juice are beverages and you put them all in the same category. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. The regulations for alcohol can't be the regulations for orange mm -hmm. juice. But that's what's happened in the stem cell world. Mm -hmm. And so in the Western communities, they have this, you know, in their minds, they haven't accepted the fact that there is this new form of therapy that's available, that is safe and that is effective. Right. There are certain criteria that they have that you know you should do randomized double blind placebo controlled studies and it should be from multiple centers that's called evidence-based medicine but we uh, in, in at neurogen we function under what's called the helsinki declaration mm -hmm. uh, are you aware what the helsinki declaration is no. the helsinki declaration the declaration from the world mm -hmm. medical association uh, which actually states that for a disease for which there is no treatment or all treatment options have been exhausted a physician can use an unproven therapy. Hmm. Okay, that means uh, now for autism, we know there's no treatment. You've gone to doctors all over. What did everybody say? Nothing yeah. can be done. Mm -hmm. So it is, there is no treatment available. So as per the Helsinki Declaration, it, I, I have a right as a physician to treat you with something which may still be unproven. Hmm. So we can't say stem cell therapy is experimental. It's not experimental anymore. There are so many publications. We have the world's first publication mm -hmm. on uh, the role of stem cell therapy from autism came from us. Mm -hmm. There are many other publications that are also showing its effectiveness. So now we know it works. There's enough scientific evidence to show mm -hmm. it works. Mm -hmm. But by the standards of evidence-based medicine, it may not be considered to be completely proven. But we can use it. Now there's nothing else available. <coughs> Both you as parents have a right the right to treatment is a basic fundamental human right. Nobody can take that. Nobody mm -hmm. can tell you, mm -hmm. don't subject your child to this treatment because that's your right. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, the treatment must be safe and there should be a scientific foundation for it. So one thing is there for stem cell therapy. It is safe and there's a scientific foundation. So I agree that the Western, see the Western countries soon, I would say in about four or five years, will have to start offering uh, at least adult stem cell therapy for autism because the results are out there. I mean, the results are there to see. You can see the dramatic improvements that are happening, but they will take time because the regulations in some of the Western countries are far more stringent and they are there for safety reasons. You know, mm -hmm. they are meant for safety reasons. But trust me, in four or five years' time, this will become the standard of care because there's no other treatment available and this is a safe and a completely effective treatment. Mm -hmm. So this is the future for autism. Mm -hmm.